This is your Fox 47 News Flash. Welcome to your Fox 47 News Flash from the Digital Newsroom. I'm Chris Lewis, and these are the top stories that we're following. On Tuesday, Ingham County Health Officer Linda Vale gave her thoughts on the Big Ten. This comes a week after it was announced the Big Ten was bringing back football in October. Officer Vale says the conference put together a really good plan for athletes. However, Now Vale is concerned about what will happen outside of the stadium. People are going to come into town. People are going to have those tailgate parties. Now, since they can't happen on campus, they're going to happen in other places. They're going to be parties in a variety of places, said Vale. The number of people attending those shouldn't be more than 10. Linda Vale says the health department will advise the university about COVID-19 protocols if needed. The Big Ten season is set to start the weekend of October 23rd. Republican lawmakers are seeking to intervene in a major court decision that will allow Michigan absentee ballots to be counted after the election. The House and Senate want to join the case and appeal the decision. Absentee ballots postmarked by November 2nd are eligible to be counted if they arrive within 14 days after the November 3rd election, according to a court decision. Judge Cynthia Stevens noted chronic delays with mail during the coronavirus pandemic. Attorney General Dana Nessel and Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson, both Democrats, say they won't appeal. The House and Senate say Nessel and Benson have abdicated their duty to defend state law. High school sports are back in action, but some superintendents are asking Governor Gretchen Whitmer to change some of the safety requirements. Seven local superintendents in West Michigan sent Governor Whitmer a letter asking for clarification on the mask mandate. Centerville Public School Superintendent Stephanie Lemmer said feedback from the community showed that the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention guidance did not line up with the governor's mask mandate for athletes playing football, volleyball, and soccer. Seven of the superintendents in St. Joseph County are calling for clarity from Governor Whitmer on the mask mandate for student athletes. Athletes, parents of athletes, school board members, community members, all of them were reaching out to me about their concerns at Centerville Public Schools Superintendent Stephanie Lemmer. Governor Whitmer signed the executive order at the beginning of September stating that masks were to be worn by all athletes except swimmers. A later order clarified that cross-country, tennis, and golf players can skip the mask as long as they maintain six feet of social distance, but other athletes were left out. Hopefully, we'd like to see some clarification on how the executive order doesn't violate that or some more clarification possibly about athletes not needing to wear masks during competitive play, said Lemmer. Fox 47 News did reach out to Governor Whitmer's office for comment on the matter, but has not yet heard anything back. The coronavirus has changed all of our lives, and many people don't know where to turn for help. That's why Fox 47 News WSYM-TV created Rebound MidMichigan, everything you need to get back on track in one convenient place. From dealing with stress to unemployment to helping put food on your table, plus ways you can lend a hand in your own community. Rebound MidMichigan, everything you need to get you through these difficult times. We may have fallen, but we will rebound together. Visit fox47news.com forward slash rebound to learn more. Learn more about all of these and all MidMichigan's breaking news on fox47news.com.